Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sport. And we have just witnessed probably the most crazy Curry Cup semi-final of all time. Five cards in the game, extra time, and the Bulls missing two penalties to win the game. One at the 80th minute, another at the 100th minute after the Hooter had gone to potentially win the the semi-final get to the final the Sharks were down to 14 then down to 13 and then down to 12 players and yet hang on and scored a try with a minute left to go in extra time to take the game it's mental it's actually mental and I mean I'm, you're busy watching Trevor Unicani on the screen you scored the winning try in the in the 99th minute of the game absolutely insane i mean 40 points a piece final score and goodness me 33 all at full time and it was a four point difference at half time i mean that'll go down as an absolute a curry cup classic you know if i don't think we've actually seen a better curry cup semi-final and i'll tell you what the lions who they'll face in the final or the sharks will have loved watching that because they just had to go into extra time and you know, how much will they enjoy seeing them having to do that extra 20 minutes? But uh, goodness me, let's try and go through that. And uh, before we do, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. I mean, I'm not even just looking at the cards on this over here. Then, then the different substitutions. There were HIAs. There were people on here. I mean, you're looking at substitutions. Somebody coming on in, you know, the 57th, coming off in the 94th. Players coming on in the 93rd. That's just mental absolutely mental i'm still trying to process what we've just seen but let's try to go through it shall we uh first point of the game it came via johan Husen in the fifth minute via the boot um with three points and uh then emil van Heeren charged down keegan johannes and the kick was good to make it seven points to three sharks looking a lot better but then keegan johannes making amends for his early mistake when he went on a bit of a snipe he went over Husen out of the extras before another Husen penalty made it 13 points to seven then a really really good line move from the right hand side 21st minute uh akavana murba the extensive jumper up delay almost sort of very slowly then going to the front of the line i almost sort of lobbed it to cameron honeycomb who then rounded ethan hooker from about 30 40 meters out might i add to go over uh Huston, adding the extras 20 points to seven in the 22nd minute um sharks 13 points behind and you're thinking oh there's that is that the game no it's not because uh bradley davis went over in the 27th minute before james fenter who walked away with the man of the match playing 100 minutes uh he went over with sierra suku getting one of those two conversions and at half time well just for half time 20 points to 19 and then Johan Hursen adding the three extra points off his boots to make it 23 points to 19. Um, the second half it was suddenly all sharks I mean all bulls for example sorry um, Hanna Jacobs went over sorry Jacob Stravino Jacobs went over in the 43rd minute uh, Hursen added the extras could see a um, they got a yellow card in the 48th minute. And at that time, 11 points was the margin for the Bulls. From 17 points up to 1 point to 4 points, back to 11, but then down to 14. That allowed the Sharks to come back. Bang, Ethan Hooker in the 54th minute. Siamasuku making no mistake. Bang, Andre Esterhazen, 61st minute. Siamasuku making no mistake. All of a sudden, 33 points to 30 up from being 11 points down to 3 points up. A 14-point swing then things got absolutely ridiculous. Francois Fenter, red card in the 65th minute. Dion Bleuler, yellow card in the 68th minute for complete infringements. Then Hendrickson with a yellow card the 73rd minute. Sharks were down to 12 men for about five minutes and didn't concede any points. Eventually, the Bulls, who were just... I mean, they were all over them from a scrum point of view. I don't know how they didn't get a penalty try, to be perfectly honest. Kept going for the lineouts, kept trying to get over the line eventually were forced in the 78th minute to take the points and level up they then won a penalty on the halfway line in the 80th minute but Husson just going down the right hand side into extra time we went in the first half of the extra time right on the edge of extra time of, of the of the half uh creel went over in the 89th minute Ch Buda Chandler making no mistake 40 points to 33 a seven point lead and then the 98th minute, Trevor Nyakane going over, Lionel Kunia making no mistake. Um, and then the drama didn't stop 
at 40 each. From the kickoff, the Bulls won the penalty. Buddha Chamberlain stepped up and his kick came short. Final score, 40 points each. Sharks through on number of tries scored. Like, I'm exhausted listening to it. I mean, just saying that, to be honest. Uh, I mean, the stats are mental. The, the possession and territory were, were pretty easy, pretty even. 59-41 um, possession, a bit more side for the Sharks, but territory 55-46. Uh, the Sharks had 75% of the last 10 minutes of that second half of extra time. Scrum's Bulls had an massive scrum, 87% win, and they were really hammering the Sharks. Sharks' lineup was a bit better. Uh, from the attack perspective, uh, 404 post-contact meters from the Sharks, 300 from the Bulls, more carries from the Sharks, but more line breaks from the Bulls. If you look at uh, penalties conceded, 20 penalties conceded by the Sharks. Mental step that 13 conceded from, sorry, 12 conceded from uh, the Bulls. Four, four cards from the Sharks, one from the Bulls. Tackle completion, for example, Bulls 82%, having to make 163, Sharks 94. Uh, it's just in terms of some individual performance, uh, I thought that uh, James Benton was terrific. Andre Estesen got progressively better as the game went by. A phenomenal game for Vincent Tuka. I mean, he had a try saving tackle in about the 85th minute. And you think um, uh, he had been playing all those minutes. So for him to still be going was ridiculous. One of the most ridiculous games I've ever watched. I'm going to have to probably put a video out tomorrow once I kind of process it. But what did you think of the game? Let me know down in the uh, uh, comments below. And uh, yeah, we'll chat to you guys all soon.